you, you know, know I, I used to come up here years ago, and we would, the conversation would be like, uh, "Oh, you have one of my favorite interviews." It's the funniest. Thing. <laughs> you I have a DVD so, because you are young and obnoxious. Uh, and you, by the way, you know you know how to do. And I encourage you. you encourage young and obnoxious <laughs> Here's what I, I used to get a bad rap from you and everybody. It's like I only encourage what you bring to the room, right? You're so, definitely, you're like steroids. Yeah, whatever you are, I, I encourage you may, yeah, that. You make you more of that. You had me. I remember, I was so okay Steve about, came in talking about people's money. Yes. And so I took it to the radio, and yeah. then we started talking about who had how much money. Yeah. Who had five million dollars in the bank? And can, if they had to get the money tomorrow, who could do it? And we started naming names. I remember how many phone calls I got after that was just crazy because he was brutally and honest i was so brutally honest <laughs> while it was happening i couldn't believe that you were doing it but i was so entertained by it that we had to keep going i remember i was i got a phone call swiss called me and cursed me out i was like swiss i didn't say you man he goes no you really did i said swiss did you hear it yourself no but it had gotten so crazy <laughs> that it just spread i remember i was walking down the street you definitely said, said swiss didn't have five million no i don't think i said swiss i know i definitely i don't know if i said swiss swiss definitely has five million now of course he does but yeah. i don't know if i i don't remember saying that then i remember i was walking down the street i said cam didn't have five million dollars which i don't know why that would be a lie and i'm walking down the street and like jim jones and like seven guys start flipping out like what the fuck you know i'm like <laughs> You didn't want me to tell that story? Come on, man. This is like, isn't this like the WWF here? People are sensitive, <laughs> Steve. $5 million? You don't have to be sensitive. You can have less than $5 million and not be mad, man. It's okay. I mean, come on. All right, well, in that, in that theme, who do you think are the five most important people in hip-hop right now? Financially? Financially, influential. Um, yeah, Dre. M musically. It's clear. It's Dre. Um, Jay, I mean, is it Dre, Jay, Puff, Kanye? Hmm. That's all you got? Really influential, like really changing the culture. Yeah, probably that. I mean, you, you know, there's guys that are coming up, there's... You know, Rick Ross and Pharrell. It, it is well, Pharrell, if you want to say that, definitely Pharrell. There's guys who are coming up, the Drakes and, and Rick Ross who are getting there. When you talk about be, to be able to shift tides globally and not, I mean, bigger than just making hit songs. Drake has a lot of hit songs, but like changing things, like making people change the way they dress and that kind of thing. Mm. And, and like finding ways to capitalize off of changing markets and stuff like that those are the guys four so in four it's really four guys you know and pharrell is probably there now but like i would say pharrell as well i i think that he um you know what he, has he a just more did he has a more niche yeah he's kind more niche of, kind of thing yeah. he's smart so mm -hmm. smart but he chooses his lanes well so when you talk about the size of it but i mean he definitely changed the way people dress a couple times man from trucker hats to those bathing ape sneakers mm -hmm. that he brought to america i think that he's he, his to his contribution, BBC has been great. I, I think he's there, but it's much more niche than it is anything else. Than glo like that, yeah. well, it's global, it's global but, it's, but, it's, but it's niche. Yeah, yeah, but he, but those are the four guys who definitely put it down day in and day out, and it's like twenty years now. That's I hate even saying that because it just sounds ridiculous, but it's really twenty years. The are you gonna have stage. Fifty Cent up here soon? Probably. You why? have to. He's not on his. He just uh, got out of his record deal. How do you feel about that? You didn't put him in your top five of people. No, he's not. Really? Wasn't he at one point? Yeah, I mean, he hasn't had a hit in a, in a really long time. I mean, he mm. has not um, made anything musically that's changed anything in a very long time. And I feel like he's always, like, gearing up for something that never happens. Hopefully, you know, this, now that he's independent and there's no record company to blame. Hmm. You know, his aggressive content <laughs> can get on the air. I, I, I don't know. Because you, when you think about what he did with, like, vitamin water and, you know, his sneakers and, you know, trying to get into this boxing space and, you know, he had some really good... Uh... No, well, he, again, he, I mean, I think that he's, I think he's trying hmm. to, to get back. But those guys, you, you know, music is a great platform. You know, if you're an entrepreneur and you have, uh, 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 you're currently active making music, you're currently active, um, um, touching people, you know, with albums, that it makes it much easier for you to, you know, uh, venture into business deals that will become successful using the music to parlay it to get it done. And without having any music 
that's meaningful over the last, I mean, probably the last great song he's made was I Get Money. I mean, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that you know how long ago Kanye's put out three albums, four albums since then. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, that was against the... It hasn't stopped Puff. Puff hasn't... Well, it's Puff done musically. It's just I think he's his brand is still is strong Puff's, enough. Puff's brand was always about... Was never about him as an artist. No one took him as an artist to be right. the mm -hmm. artist. You know, yeah. it, it was... Mm -hmm. So it's much different for Puff. That's yeah. how I feel about yeah, the yeah, whole no, thing. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. 50's gonna now put you on a song. <laughs> you know, Just so you're clear. That's great, great. Uh, hopefully it gets on the radio. <laughs> 